Party people of the world! Human beings, dogs, cats and aliens, please welcome to the stage the incredible human beatboxer. He has toured the globe, he has broken world records, he has worked with Ed Sheeran, Lily Allen and Rudimental. Please go crazy for SK Schlobo! <laughs> from the mouth Thank you so much, human beings. It's so good to be here. Big up to St. Andrew's Voices Music Festival. I am SK Shlomo, and I am here today to teach you all about the amazing world of human beatboxing. Human beatboxing. Has anyone here ever heard of beatboxing before? If you have, I want to hear about it. Put, put a little comment in the chat there and tell us if you've heard of beatboxing before or if you've never heard of it before. You don't even know what it is. Uh, but today, I'm going to set you guys a little challenge. Uh, we've got about 25, 30 minutes and by the end of this little workshop I want every single person watching this show to be not just a normal beatboxer but a superstar beatboxer do you think you can do that for me guys I said do you think you can do that for me guys Ah, oh, good, good, good. I'm liking the energy. I'm liking the enthusiasm. All right, so for the benefit of those people who have never even heard of beatboxing, have no idea what it is we're talking about here, let's explain it to them, guys. Beatboxing is when you make music with your... Mouth. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, stop. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. So that is what we call human beatboxing. It's when you express yourself out of your heart, through your voice and into everybody else's ears. It is such a fun way to express yourself and I love it very much. And also it's very, very easy to learn the basics. So by the end of this workshop, do you remember I set you a challenge? Every single person watching this little show is not just going to be any beatboxer, but you're going to be a superstar beatboxer. That's right. Oh, I'm so excited. So... We are going to have some fun, right? But before we do it, if we're going to become superstar beatboxers, we need to understand where all this came from. So who can tell me what genre of music beatboxing first came from? Uh, so, hmm. I'll give you three options. Was it option one, rock music? Option two, classical music? Or option three, hip hop music? If you know the answer, leave a comment down below. Was it rap? Was it, was it hip hop music? classical music or rock music leave your comment down below and uh, i'm gonna tell you now the answer was 
hip hop music, right? Hip hop music. So if we're going to witness the birth of beatboxing and the birth of hip hop music, we're going to need to travel back in time, quite far back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to a very distant time called the 1980s. The early 1980s is where hip hop was born on the streets of New York in America, right? But before we go, before we go there, let me ask: Has anyone here ever travelled through time before? It's quite dangerous, so you need to know what you're doing. Has anyone time travelled here before? Hopefully, you have. Uh, and today, we're going to make the sound of our time machine. And because this theme for the festival, St. Andrew's Voices, is about coasts and waters, we're going to make the sound of a time machine that travels through the sea. So we're going to travel through the sea and through time all the way back to the 1980s till we land in New York. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Okay. After three, let me hear your time travel boats in, in three, in two, in one. landed in New York in the 1980s and we're about to witness the birth of a new street culture called hip hop. Now the wonderful thing about a street culture is that anyone can take part. It doesn't matter where you're from or how much money you have or what colour your skin is. The only thing that matters are your hip hop skills. Hip hop skills, there's three, no there's four main skills, right? Shall I tell you what they are? The first one is called uh rapping anyone here know about rapping if you're good at rapping we want to hear about it let's leave it in the comments tell us how good you are at rapping the second skill is called djing i love djing anyone here good at djing hopefully there's a few djs watching the third one is called break dancing now i am really really pretty pretty special at break dancing i just can't demonstrate today because of an in injury to my nostril uh, and the fourth <laughs> fourth of these uh hip-hop skills is called graffiti art which i know is huge in st andrews it's a very hip-hop place so we're going to do some, be doing some graffiti art anyway so they're the four skills so you've got to picture the scene everyone's having a brilliant time on the streets of new york they're having what's called a block party which is everyone out on the street partying together coming together and all the music is coming from a thing called a ghetto blaster which is kind of 1980s for a battery powered sound system that you carry around on your shoulder and it sounds almost exactly like this <laughs> Now this So guys if you're enjoying it All you have to do is just nod your head like that And maybe look a little bit disgusted Like you've eaten something that doesn't taste nice Let me see you nod your head in west so over here everyone's having a really good time they're break dancing they're singing they're rapping over here everyone is djing and graffiti arting and spinning on their heads it's like a moment in time it feels like the birth of a new era it is so exciting when all of a sudden what happened <laughs> Oh, my days, the batteries have run out. Oh, what are we going to do? St. Andrew's voices. I think we're just going to have to give up right now. I think hip hop was a bad idea. It was never going to take off. I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to go over here and feel a bit sad for a while. Feel a bit sad. Guys, you're supposed to be like, no, no. I haven't got a sound effect for no. What have I got instead? Just have to have clapping. <laughs> Pretend that's sad. Like, no, no, don't leave. But no. Step forward our hero. Nobody knows who this first person was, but legend has it one human being stepped forward and said, I don't care if the beatbox is broken, if the ghetto blaster has run out of batteries, because I feel like I could do it all with my mouth. So he or she took a deep breath, closed their eyes, and they did something a little bit like this. <gasps> That's how they used to do it. Oh, thanks so much. Oh, stop. You're too kind. You're too kind. You're too kind. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, 
hip hop was saved. Woohoo! Everyone said, "Yay!" They all started break dancing again. They started rapping again, and so, yes, it nearly didn't. It nearly didn't happen at all. But luckily, no one knows who that person was. But they saved hip hop. Hooray for that person! So this is where we get the term human beatbox because that person was doing the sound of the beatbox and was human so guys watching the show you guys okay are you okay are you having a nice time are you enjoying the festival so far let me see a few more comments in the chat down below i want to see how you guys are doing uh, and i want to ask you this right so i set you guys a challenge at the beginning of the show by the end of this workshop every single person watching is going to be not just a beatboxer but a superstar beatboxer that is correct uh and you know what every time i do my show people always seem to want to ask me the same questions like normally i am touring all over the place i normally do something like 150 shows a year not in 2020 but that's why it's so cool to be doing this with you guys today anyway every time i do my show people come up to me and if it's online they ask me online and they say dude do you, guys, do you guys want to know what the first question is? There's actually three questions they always ask me. Do you guys want to know what the first one is? The first one is they come up to me and they say, Dude, when did you find out you could do that with your mouth? As if I kind of woke up last Thursday and did a slightly painful sneeze and discovered that in my sleep I had turned into superstar beatboxing man. <laughs> Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you guys to applaud for my imaginary painful experience, but that is not how it started for me. That isn't that isn't my origin story. No, I I, I do you want to hear the truth. The true story is when I was eight years old. Right. I know some people watching are going to be eight years old, but when I was eight years old, my parents bought me a drum kit for my birthday. Uh, which was amazing. It was my dream. It had come true, and I was very happy. Do you know what they said to me about? 48 hours later, they said, son, please, can you stop playing those drums? <laughs> they had they had rules. I wasn't allowed to practice my drums between this time and that time or this weekend day or that. Oh, my days. All I wanted to do was express myself, which is why I started messing around with my voice, right? Trying to practice my drum rhythms with my voice. And I had these four sounds I used to make. Do you guys want to hear the sounds? I said, do you guys want to hear the sounds? <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you. There's four sounds. The first one, I called it the hi-hat. It goes like this. That's number one, the hi-hat. The second one, I called it the snare. Number three, I called it synthy. It goes like this. I had quite a deep voice for an eight-year-old, don't ask. And the fourth one, I called it the kick. It sounds like this. Humans, party people of the world, would you guys like to hear me try and put those first four sounds together? I said, would you like to hear me try and put those first four sounds together? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm going to try and put them together. So the first one I call the hi hat. Two, snare. Three, the synth goes. The kick goes. If you like that, make some noise. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Wow, that's too kind of you. Too kind. So, so <laughs> before I'd even learned how to shave, I discovered this deep bass within my heart. And all I had to do after that was just keep practicing every day and night until I became internationally successful. <laughs> so... I'm not joking, actually. You just got to keep playing with it. You just got to keep practicing. So uh, do you guys feel ready? I think you're ready. I think we've had enough intro. Are you ready to start learning some beatbox sounds of your own? I said, are you ready to start learning some beatboxing sounds of your own? 
All right, I am going to teach you some sounds because by the end of this show, we're all going to be not just beatboxers, but superstar beatboxers. I'm going to teach you the three basic drum sounds that everyone needs to know to learn the very basic beatboxing techniques. So has anyone here ever played the drums before? If you've played the drums before, tell me in the comments where you played the drums and when you played the drums and how it felt when you played the drums. Because for me, playing the drums is a beautiful thing. It feels so, so good. But uh, you can do that, all of this with your mouth, which is great. You don't even need the drums. You can do it while you're walking to the park you can do it while you're waiting you can do it anytime even on the toilet so i'm going to teach you three drum sounds okay the first one you'll know this drummers what do you call the big drum that sits on the floor and you play it with a pedal it's called the bass drum and in america they call it the kick so this first sound i'm going to teach you three but the first one is called the kick and each one of these sounds has a letter that goes with it and the kick's letter is the letter p because you go like this you do a big P. Before you do that though, everyone take a nice deep breath like this. Now go like this. Now we always make sure we wash our hands and keep our distance while we're doing this because it's kind of uh, not super hygienic. So make sure you're keeping a social distance from people around you, but take a nice deep breath in and go. That's it. So that sound is a really helpful sound. And what we're going to do is make it shorter like this and then make our P sounds really powerful. A really good way to do it is to bring your bottom lip down and show me like a sad face, like no. <laughs> now show me your sad face and then go like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Sorry, but the, the close up voice has that sound effect with it. <laughs> That's it. That's called the uh, the kick and it's the letter P, right? The second sound is the easiest of the three. This one is, what do you call this, drummers? You press another pedal down and these two symbols touch together. It's called the hi-hat. That's right, the hi-hat. And this one's the easiest of the three. It's just the letter T, like this. Try and make it very, very short and very, very sharp and very, very powerful like this. Uh, okay, that's the second sound. That's the second sound. We call it the hi hat. The first one was called the kick, and it was the letter P. The second one's called the hi hat. It's the letter T. Are you ready by the third and final sound, drummers? What do you call this? It's the main drum on the kit. We call it the snare drum. It's called the snare drum because there's metal wires that touch the skin of the drum, and they give it a very metallic sound that we can copy with the letter K, like this. It's like a K with an H after it. Try that. If you're learning phonics, it's k k k. You can do a long one. You can do a short one. For some reason, it sounds way better if you take your hand and you always do some kind of gesture. It just energizes your body into the sounds. It gives it so much more conviction. Let's try like a high one. Try going all the way from high down to low. Yes. Amazing. We call this the snare. We have now learned three sounds. We had the kick, which was the letter P, the hi-hat, which was the letter T, and the snare, which is the letter K. Are you ready to put them together? I said, are you ready to put them together? Okay. <laughs> so first of all, we're just going to say it. We're going to say P-T-K. Say it with me. P-T-K. Like you mean it. P-T-K. Now do the sound. A bit more powerful. Make it short, like put a T on the end. Relax your body. It's good. Keep going. If you want to, you can double the speed like this. Or just stick with. Round of applause for yourselves. Party people, humans of the world, humans of St. Andrew's voices, you have just dropped your first beat. That is incredible. Now, do you guys want to see how far you can go with those three sounds? P, T and K is really all you need to know if you want to become a superstar beatboxer. And I want to show you just how far you can take them, right? So just using those three sounds, I want you to listen closely. So I'm going to start with a little P, a little T and a little K.
Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I cheated a little bit. I put a few extra sounds in. But yes, this is the basic sounds. It's really all you need to know to become a superstar beatboxer. Now, do you guys feel like you have achieved our challenge? Uh, it, you know, it's just the basics. But all you have to do is just keep practicing, keep playing, keep expressing yourself. Because the main thing I'm trying to teach people whenever I talk to them about beatboxing is, yes, uh, for me, it was beatboxing. And I was really happy that I managed to, you know, create a life out of this. It's enabled me to travel the world. It's enabled me to to have this as my job and you know express myself on a daily basis but the truth is yeah I've been going on about becoming a superstar beatboxer, but really it's all about just becoming a superstar in whatever it is, like whatever it is you believe in. You don't have to become a world record breaker to be a superstar. A superstar is from within. So all I want you guys to do is find your voice, express yourself and be the real you. Because when I first started beatboxing, believe me, when I told my parents when I was nine years old that I wanted to be a beatboxer, they didn't know what that meant. And they told me to get on with my maths homework. And that might happen to you. You might find out that, you know, you know, you wake up and you realize you are something, you identify as something, and that might be different to what, what people expect or what is normal. And people might not like it. They might even try to discourage you. But honestly, if you just take a breath, believe in yourself, keep practicing, keep pushing yourself forwards. I honestly believe you could be any superstar human being you want to be. And that goes for you grown-ups too. It's never too late. Okay, enough with getting deep and meaningful. I'm really proud of everybody who's been part of this. Thank you so much. If you have enjoyed yourself with your beatboxing video, with your beatboxing skills, I want you to show me by making some videos. If you make some videos, you can send them to me using social media. If you go to uh, at SK Schlomer or you go to this website here, uh, there it is, beatboxadventures.com. If you go there, we've been doing these weekly lessons lessons in beatboxing live streamed around the world we've had over 200,000 people watching them we've been raising money for the nhs and for the black lives matter foundation it's been incredible we've had some incredible guests on there like uh, bastille and bill bailey and katie tunstall it's been incredible so you can go on there you can learn way more about beatboxing you can also get hold of some of this lovely stuff uh i have here oh it's a t-shirt that says super mega awesome beatboxer if you would like a t-shirt to prove your super mega awesome beatboxing skills you can also get them on beatboxadventures.com and on there too you can contact me so i want you to send me your work let me see what it is you guys do with these amazing sounds with your saint andrew's voices if you can somehow make a piece of beatboxing music that relates to coasts and waters which is the theme of the festival this year i would love that so so much and i think saint andrew's voices festival would like that so much too so it's been amazing to be here. I just want to check one last thing before we finish, uh, before I kind of, uh, you know, wrap this up. I need to check with you. Do you feel like you've achieved our challenge to become superstar beatboxers? You don't sound convinced. Let me hear you as loud as you can. Do you feel like we've completed our challenge to become superstar beatboxers? Well, I think you have. I think you have. And I'm now going to award you with a special reward, which means you are now entitled to free chips anywhere in the world if you want to claim your free chips you just go up to whoever's in charge of selling the chips and he very humbly and politely uh, you go up to them and you say excuse me if i can make your jaw drop can i please have the chips for free right uh, at which point they're legally obliged to say yes and then all you do is you just take a deep breath you remember everything we've been practicing today you remember your p's your t's your k's you remember your history you remember who you are you believe in yourself and you do something a little bit like this <laughs> Chips, please. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching, everybody. My name has been SK Shlomo. Massive love to the uh, St. Andrew's Voices Festival. This has been incredible. Please go to beatboxadventures.com and send me your videos. Show me what you can do with your amazing voices because believe me, they are amazing. SK Shlomo here signing out and I'll see you guys as soon as I'm allowed to travel around the world. I'll come and see you. I promise I'll come up to Scotland. Uh, and again, if you go beatboxadventures.com, and there you can sign up to be on my mailing list and you'll hear all about my shows once we're allowed to do them in real life again and also all my live streams and all the other cool things we're doing. So thank you again. Big love. See you again. Goodbye. 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 goodbye.